Hey, Judy, we've got a gift for you. A baby? No, a Portland Nursery gift card. Ah, and we have a gift for you, a new episode of Garden Time. Welcome to Garden Time. I'm at Portland Nursery on Stark Street with Elizabeth and Hello. Sarah, Hello. and we're in their beautiful holiday decor house. And coming up later on the show, I'm going to show Judy some gifts for the gardener, including some Portland Nursery gift cards. And also coming up in the show today, we'll take you to the Olive Oil Festival at Red Ridge Farms. But coming up first, live Christmas trees. Well, it's that time of the holidays where you have to start planning on your Christmas tree. But what about thinking about a living Christmas tree? I'm at A&R Nursery out in Woodland, Washington with Ron Van Meter. And Ron, this is a brand new facility for you. It is. We just started this this year. Uh, we had a wholesale nursery here before and we have just started a retail location here. And it's really a long family business. Third generation is amazing. Third generation. We're very excited for the next generation to come on and take hold and, and move it forward for us. Excellent. And you're starting with something that's a little different. Instead of a cut Christmas tree, a living Christmas tree. So tell us a little bit about it because it's just a little bit different for we us. We are so excited about offering the living Christmas tree program. This year we were able to offer 12 to 15 wow. varieties. We're going to offer the, the traditional Doug fir, noble fir, grand fir, but in addition to that, we have some of the most unique grafted conifers that we have uh, that are unique to the Northwest. And so, the, and they're pre-decorated too, like this one. I can get this one <laughs> just like this. You could get this one just <laughs> like this. We have uh, we 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 can pre-decorate this for you, excellent. but or you could take it home and decorate it yourself. All and right. this is a, a spruce called. Uh, Picea orientalis gaudi. It's an orientalis spruce, and it's one of the most unique uh, slow semi-dwarf spruces in America. Amazing, it's amazing. And you can get like a blue spruce, which is wonderful. And then I love this one that's like a two-tone. This is a two, this is a Abies true fir called uh, Abies coriandis Hortzman silverlock. And it, it has this stomata that wraps around beautiful. and gives it a two-tone effect. It has this beautiful purple cone that will come up wow. to on the fall as well. So adding another little element that makes it unique to the trade. And I love that you've decorated it for maybe outdoors because we don't have to bring Christmas trees inside because sometimes our houses are too small. So if you had a patio where you would like to have a, a live Christmas tree but don't have the space inside, this would be a, a, a plant like this would be something that you could enjoy on the outside. You could feed the birds right, and right. have honey, have all these sorts of things come into it as well. Nice. And so, how do we really take care of a living Christmas tree? Because you can't bring it in for weeks and weeks. You can't. Uh, what you want to do is you want to transition it in. So you want to bring it in. You want to give it a day or two underneath a carport or into your garage, and then transition it into the home. And then leave it there for a week, maybe eight days or so and then transition it back outside, back to the carport or into your garage. And then from there, it can stay in the pot and you can take your time to plant it if you want to, or you can leave it in, on your patio for a while as well. Oh, that's nice that you don't have to plant it right that week after Christmas time. No, you would have all the way till late spring, early summer to plant it nice. at that point. And really, so you're kicking off the whole holiday season with um, some things going on here at the nursery. So tell us about that. We are. So we're very excited. We're going to kick off a Black Friday and then we're going to have a, a more holiday Whoa. event. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we really want you to bring your family out, bring your kids out. We're going to have s'mores, a fireplace. We're going to have uh, hot dogs and cocoa and all that sort of thing. So we really want to make this a family affair come out, enjoy our new facility. Our wonderful staff will be able to answer nice. all your questions about all of our unique and wonderful trees and make this a really great holiday experience for you and your family. And Ron, the decorating just doesn't stop with the trees here, does it? No, it does not. We have wreaths and we have wow. other products that you could come out and enjoy. We have some small items that you, we think that would be of interest as well. And cut greens to choose from too? We have. We have uh, many different types of cut greens that you could come out and put, put together your own products for your own, make your own wreaths as well. And we have people on staff that could help you with that, uh, with that process as well. And have a s'more. And have a s'more. <laughs> you know what? 
One s'more is another s'more. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a great sense mm -hmm. of humor. So go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their website and their Facebook page. You get all the information and the directions to get out here. But really, it's a fun day to come out with the family and meet everybody out here at A&R Nursery. Thanks so much. This has been great to meet you. Thank you so much. We really do welcome and thank Garden Time for coming out and spending time with us. Oh, well, you're welcome. Thank you. Garden Time is brought to you by Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people. The seasons are definitely changing, but at Portland Nursery, the one thing that never changes is our commitment to you, our customer. Whether it's helping you get ready for the holidays or getting your garden ready for the next growing season, Portland Nursery has the experts to help you prepare. Stop by and see what's new for your home or garden, then take home something special for the season. Portland Nursery, a passion for plants, a nursery for plant people, at 50th and Stark or 90th and Division. Come to Aurora Colony, where fun and history meet. Taste your way into the holidays at the Aurora Wine and Chocolate Walk. Wander historic downtown Aurora and visit over a dozen locations while sampling artisan wines and locally made chocolates. Your passport allows two people to enjoy this tasty journey and it benefits a great cause too. For your passport, go to auroraWineAndChocolate.com. Come to Aurora Colony, just minutes south of Portland, off of I-5. Garden time is on the road again. Join us as we tour Portugal and Spain in the fall of 2020. We start in Lisbon, where we tour the palaces and gardens of royalty. Then we make our way across Spain with visits to the Mesquita and the world-famous Alhambra. Enjoy the sights, sounds, and tastes of Andalusia before we end up in exciting Madrid. Local transportation, hotels, and 26 of your meals are included. Go to Garden Time Tours for more information, and we'll see you in Europe. Your chance to kick off your holiday season is at the Oregon Garden in Silverton and the Village Green in Cottage Grove. Come see thousands of lights and holiday displays while you wander the gardens. Visit Santa while you listen to carolers, then get all your holiday shopping done at the Artisan Christmas Market. At the Oregon Garden, you can also enjoy ice skating and tubing. Both resorts also offer special rates on overnight stays. Check out their websites for more information, then come join us and create a new holiday tradition. Kick off your holidays right with a stop at a vintage flea. One stop puts you right in the middle of a holiday shopping paradise. We have everything from new handcrafted gifts to unique vintage items, plus Christmas trees and wreaths. There is something to please anyone on your list. We even have holiday treats to enjoy. Check us out at Margie's Farm and Garden. Make your holiday shopping easier with a stop at a vintage flea. I am at Portland Nursery on Star Street, and this is the place to come shopping for all of your gift needs. And I'm with Sarah and Elizabeth, and you can see Elizabeth has one of the best gifts you can get, a gift card from Portland Nursery. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, we were going to show it, but it looks like she's putting it to much better use. <laughs> so, yeah, with a gift card, you can buy anything that we have to offer, but we also have some lovely, you know, actual gift ideas as well. And look at this terrarium. You know, terrariums are just still one of the best gifts and a fun gift. And you have someone on staff that will just make them and create them. They're so creative. We have quite a few and they're so talented and they're all different. So they're all unique. This one might not be here, but um, they are, I'm just amazed at some of the work that comes out of it. And Sarah, hummingbird feeders, that's a great gift if you don't have one. They are. So many people enjoy seeing hummingbirds coming up to their window when they're not being, you know, able to go outside. Um, the important thing though is keeping the food fresh for them. They Definitely. are, they do start relying on it as a food source, but we have just a ton of adorable bird feeders. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And then tools. I think you cannot have enough tools as a gardener. And what a great gift to get a fresh one for the next coming spring. It's true. I mean, you lose them all the time. <laughs> that's true. Um, but also, we also talk about, you know, uh, pruners and all that a lot. But this one specifically, uh, the handle rotates. So for people who have um, arthritis or their hands get sore easy, it's, it makes it a lot more comfortable. I think it'd be a much appreciated gift. Definitely. And dram, oh my gosh, this is a great water spigot here. Mm -hmm. You can just never have enough of those. And you know, um, 
decorate our colors. That's right. <laughs> we have a whole rainbow of colors to pick from, so different and, styles. And you know, seed starting is going to be here before we know it, and so this is a wonderful thing. I don't think we would go out and get it for ourselves, maybe, but for a gift, it'd be great. Right, and they're just so much fun in the window. Um, if you have a sunny window, and then you know seeds, you just have a little bit more of a, an attachment to them once they're grown. Oh, definitely, because it's it's um, a, a labor of love. Yes. And then for kids, because we want kids to garden, like Elizabeth. Look at right. that. Everybody yeah. loves this book, and how much fun to have an activity with yeah, it. Yeah, this is one that's going home with me um, <laughs> this year as well, because it's just such a cool process. People, kids love caterpillars. Kids love butterflies, and um, it's something every kid should do. I think. And so we have all kinds of other decorations too, and you can find everything at both stores? Yes, yep, we've got lots of decor ah! for the Christmas season, um, including fresh greens and wreaths wow. and table you know, centerpieces and all that. We've got lots of stuff. Ah. Well, you know, come out for all your shopping needs. You can go to Portland Nursery on ah! Stark Street or on Division and really get all that, those checks off on your list and have a great time while you're, while you're here. Thank you so much. Thanks. Well, today is the day to be at Margie's Farm and Garden for a vintage flea, and I'm with Kathy. And Kathy, it's so fun to be here, maybe a week early than normal. Yeah, that was the big change this year as we've changed it. We've always been the first four years that we were doing it <laughs> on Thanksgiving weekend, and now we're this weekend, the weekend before, so everybody can kind of relax. Maybe next week, mm. already have all their shopping done because they oh, came here today. That is great. Yeah. <laughs> that is fun because it is kind of like the kickoff to the shopping season for many people. Yeah, we like to say that you can come and start and finish your holiday shopping shopping here at A Vintage Fleet. Ah, very good. And so, Margie, what kind of vendors are going to be here? Oh, we have such a wide range of vendors. Um, we have 82 um, booths Whoa. this year. It's a great selection. So we have antiques, repurposed, vintage, handcrafted. Um, we have some food booths. We have a bar that's going to be set up oh, so you can wonderful. come get a mimosa this morning, um, get a different mixed drink, um, get some kettle corn, and you're good to go. <laughs> you are. And you're going to have some of your pickled products, which you're famous for. Oh, we will. We'll have our whole line of pickled product out um, ready to purchase. You can sample and uh, get some for your holiday season. Ah, yeah, we could have them next week. Yes, definitely. <laughs> And Kathy, this is really unique things to get here. Yeah, we like to pride ourselves that these 80 booths are their local craftspeople. Mm. So even the antique uh, collectors and vendors, they're local people that have found like these cool things. So if you've got someone on your list that uh, maybe doesn't want just another pair of socks, <laughs> um, this is the place to come, come uh, today. Uh, yes, and so really come today it's until four o'clock, watch the rest of the show, and then come out to a vintage flea at Margie's Farm and Garden. For more information, go to Garden time.tv and you can click over to avintageflea.com. Thanks so much. Yeah, Have a great show. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Garden Time is brought to you by Capital Subaru. Your way on the parkway. What's even better than buying a brand new Subaru? How about getting the best possible value from a place that's as trustworthy and dependable as a Subaru? At Capital Subaru, your satisfaction is our goal, which is why you can always expect the kind of service and selection that keeps you smiling. From our lot to your driveway. It's the Subaru Share the Love event. Lease the all-new 2020 Subaru Outback Limited, just $339 per month, and Subaru will donate $250 to charity. Capital Subaru, your way on the parkway. Welcome to A&R Nursery, where you'll find premium quality plants at near wholesale prices. Come see our wide selection of beautiful shrubs, perfect for adding privacy to your yard. Check out our collection of colorful shade trees. And beginning November 29th, see an impressive assortment of living Christmas trees in both popular and unusual varieties. A&R Nursery, located between Woodland and La Center on Highway 99 at Tonjus Road. Go to arnursery.com for directions. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. Save big today on new appliances for your home during Black Friday deals at Standard TV and Appliance. Take advantage of store-wide savings up to 50% off, plus 12 months no interest financing. There's never been a better time to get a great deal on appliances, mattresses, and more during this incredible once-a-year sales event. Hurry in now for savings up to 50% off during our Black Friday deals going on now. Standard TV and Appliance, Oregon's largest independent appliance company.
Find everything you need for this holiday season at Owl's. I am standing here with Paul and we are out at Red Ridge Farms and this, Paul, is the time of year for olives and olive oil, isn't it? This is when you're doing yeah. your work. Yeah, this is really kind of a, a culmination of everything throughout the year. Super exciting time for us. Um, we're kind of, you know, we've been kind of focused around this year end, uh, you know, with the grape harvest is done right. and now we move right into milling and uh, you know, we'll be milling here for the better part of uh, six weeks. And I think one of the things that really fascinates me about this situation is that I've always liked olive oil, but I really didn't understand how it was made, where it came from. So you're yep. going to go through the process of what you guys go through in milling yep. olive oil, right? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, basically, um, you know, it starts with really good, high quality fruit. The first step is cleanliness. Right. So we go through, we hand sort the fruit and, uh, and we wash it really well. Just get it super clean. So that's a really critical first step. The next step in the process is uh, we basically kind of make a paste or a mash. And uh, so, standing behind you is, is the mill. Uh -huh. um, so that's the actual milling, mill, mill portion of the process where we take that whole olive, so we don't deep hit or anything, and we basically pound it through a perforated screen like this. Really? And uh, this mill will run, we can fill about, uh, we do about 120 pounds per minute through wow. this mill. So you're really moving a lot of fruit. Uh, we want to move it just as fast as we can. And uh, so we fracture it through this mesh, and this is kind of the start of the magic when it comes to making really high quality olive oil. With olive oil, there's flavor in the skins, there's flavor in the flesh, and there's flavor in the pit. So you're not pitting the nope. olives, to, you just do the whole, uh, the that whole makes thing. Yeah, sense. people are really yeah. interested in that. Yeah. that uh, you know, typically they're expecting it to be a, a pitted and then, right. and then the oil's made, but no, you break everything up. And then it goes into a tank. Um, there's a tank on each side of the mill, and uh, we, and that's really where kind of the magic happens. So basically that falls into this tank and we slowly turn it. Just like, it almost looks like, uh, it's almost like uh, you're turning uh, bread dough. Yeah. And, um, and it's that thick? Yeah, really? it's kind of that wow. thick. Yeah. And it, uh, and it depends on how the olives are. Sometimes it's a little looser, sometimes it's a little thicker. Um, but there's, that's really where, you know, you kind of get the intersection of flavor. So in olive oil, there's three main components. There's fruitiness, bitterness, and pungency. And we want those all to be in balance. Uh -huh. And depending on how long we leave it in tank and depending on how we heat it, those three flavor components will kind of come together and we want them to be in balance as much as possible. And sometimes they come into balance really quick, maybe just a few minutes in tank, and sometimes it can take up to an hour in tank. So, so you, just you can't just put it in there and run away and have, nope. have a drink. You've got to pay attention. Yeah, you to the really got to stay on top of it. And we, uh, I kind of talk about, it's, it's like a recipe. Yeah. Every, and every, every time we bring olives in, it's a little bit different recipe, you know, heat, time, you know, duration, those sorts of things all play a factor in it. And then once that is done, it, it, how does the process complete then? Well, basically, after we have been in tank here for a period of time, we then go through a couple centrifuges. So, you know, we're taking advantage of, uh, you know, basically that centrifugal force of uh -huh. spinning that out. And so the, the fruit goes into a basically a spinning cylinder. And so the heavy stuff, the pit, the pulp, and the skin, goes to the outside of that spinning cylinder. And then you get a little water layer, and then inside of that you get an oil layer. And what we try to do is skim off the oil and the water wow. and a little bit of solids. And uh, so that's the next step. And then after that, um, we go through a final centrifuge, which is basically, uh, it's like a cream separator for folks that maybe grew up around a dairy or those sorts of things. But we uh, spin the water out. So, you know, we're getting oil and water at the first centrifuge. And the next step, we take the water out of the oil. And then that, that's what gives you yep. this. Gives us this. So we have this really beautiful, this is called Oleo Nuovo, um, new olive oil. You know, I was uh, taught by a, a master miller from Italy um, who talked about, you know, he came over for two seasons and lived with us and uh, really taught us how to make high quality olive oil. Yeah. And this Oleo Nuovo is a really important tradition in, in Italy where you've made this new oil and you can kind of see here, there's a little bit of still this fine sediment in this oil and it's imparting this really beautiful, vibrant flavor. And it also changes the vis viscosity of the oil. So it's a little thicker, a little creamier. Um, it just adds a lot of really beautiful uh, flavoring to food. So then Paul, currently people can come out with this wonder of event that's happening today. Today, yeah. And taste and different taste this, olive oils. Yeah, different olive oils. We make five different kinds here. So this is a bottle of Arbequina. Um, but there, we do a Coroniki, we do a Tuscan, we do a Frantoio, and all of those oils are super distinctive. And that's the beautiful thing about olive oil is that they pair so well with foods, right. different types of right. foods, just like wine. 
And even if people come out today, or I should say when they come out today, exactly. you, there's the wine things going on. They can buy plants, olive trees, and yep. everything's open right now. It's a big celebration of all the Oh, place. it's a big deal. And, uh, you know, and that's a little bit of the kind of the best traditions of Italy is we want right. to have, this is a property wide event. Um, where people can come, it's complimentary. They can come and taste these oils. We taste it with a little bit of food, yes. a little bit of fine wine, and it's just really just a big, a big, big celebration of the season. Well, you know, every time I come out here, I actually feel like I'm stepping into a little bit of Italy. So, for more information on this great event, go to GardenTime.tv. We'll click you over to their website, gather all that information up, come out and taste some fresh olive oil for yourself. Paul, always a pleasure. Yeah, thank, thank you. Friend. It's great. Located in the heart of Willamette Valley's hops, hazelnut, and wine country, Caddy Farms is a beautiful option for your upcoming wedding or event. Enjoy the diverse venue the over 40-acre farm offers, with manicured gardens, a private forest and spacious meadow, chef's kitchen, and covered patios. All just five minutes off of I-5 in Aurora, Oregon. Caddy Farms, now booking upcoming events. Garden Time is on the road again. Join us as we tour Portugal and Spain in the fall of 2020. We start in Lisbon where we tour the palaces and gardens of royalty. Then we make our way across Spain with visits to the Mesquita and the world famous Alhambra. Enjoy the sights, sounds and tastes of Andalusia before we end up in exciting Madrid. Local transportation, hotels and 26 of your meals are included. Go to Garden Time Tours for more information and we'll see you in Europe. The holidays have arrived at Garden Gallery Ironworks. Stop by our store in Hubbard and see the season in a whole new light. We have a wide selection of new and unusual gift ideas. From stocking stuffers and hostess gifts to large decor pieces, we have thousands of items to choose from. And don't forget the outdoors. We have gifts for the gardeners too. We also have a large selection of Kelly Ray Roberts items for you to take home. Give the gift they'll thank you for from Garden Gallery Ironworks. At Blooming Junction, fall isn't about winding down, it's about getting ready. In the garden, start the next season off right, right now. Fall plantings produce healthier, more robust, and drought tolerant plants than those planted in spring or summer. In the kitchen, get ready for the holidays with fresh, organically grown produce from our fields. So whether it's for the garden or for the kitchen this season, Blooming Junction is your place for quality, uncommon plants and produce for your home and garden. Don't let the cold and wet get you this winter. Warm up to a season of heat with Grimm's Fuel. Grimm's has plenty of wood and heating oil ready to deliver to keep you warm all winter long. Stay warm and cozy with Grimm's Fuel. Well, I am at Terra Casa today with Diana, and Diana, I love coming here because you have the whole idea here. You have the whole living room set, and we have this lovely couch, and then you have to accessorize it, right? Of course you do. <laughs> and so, look at these bowls. There's this beautiful one with the angel, and behind us with trees. They're just so special. They're fun. We love to do theme bowls, because you can change them out throughout the year, mm. and, and for right now, we're doing a lot of, obviously, Christmas theme bowls, so you can take a centerpiece, um, piece from the store. We used an angel tree topper here, we put spheres around it and some some beads and you can put some lights in it and then you can also do ones that match the color of your furniture mm -hmm. or whatever items in your house you're trying to coordinate so a lot of options that is so beautiful and then maybe a lantern by it because you sell so many beautiful lanterns we do a lot of lanterns and they're great with the electric candles in mm. them because you don't have to worry about fire they're very safe and you can put sprays in them you can put candles you can put more spheres um, there's just uh, so many fun things and we're happy to make these up for you but you can walk the store uh, and see all the different kinds we've done if you like it you buy it just the way you see it or we'll make one up special uh, you know because I think that's the best part because somebody has to hold my hand when I go pick all that out <laughs> and know. you all have that beautiful eye to make it so personable and to customize it to us all we want to make you happy we want you to take it home and love seeing it every day in your home uh, well it is a beautiful place to come and and for inspiration for the holidays is really something a lot of ideas and we do encourage people to shop local uh -huh. this year um, I'm seeing a lot of places go out of business and remember to shop local because um, we employ everyone that
that we have here at the store it lives locally and and I just encourage people to to get off the internet and and come into the store and see all the beautiful things. Well it is an experience to come here because it's all the pieces for our end tables and that but then there's things for our walls so really oh. you have to come to experience the store. You do, you do. You can touch and you can feel and you can smell the candles and there's a lot to see. The bowls and lanterns are so beautiful for the holidays, but you can help us move past the holidays. We can do, what we do is people bring their bowls in after the holidays and they've packed things up and stored them and they want to convert that bowl into springtime. Mm -hmm. So we take it and we put succulents in it or we put different florals mm -hmm. and different colors of spheres and we and lights and we can do a whole bunch of different things but you bring us the bowl back and we'll decorate it again for you all throughout the year there's a lot of different things you can do throughout the year and not just with bowls you can do it anywhere in your home your mantle your cocktail table the middle of your dining room table with a new runner that, that brings in the season and, and it kind of helps change out your home throughout the year. Uh, and can you tell us about this one artist here? He's very special. Oh, I am really, really big on Darren Giggy right now. So he is a fabulous artist who um, has been an illustrator when he was in kindergarten and up through high school. <laughs> everyone, all the teachers thought he was very studious because he was always taking notes, but what he was doing was drawing in the mm. margins on the pages and so he became a, a very famous illustrator and now does a lot of this very beautiful artwork on um, some canvas um, Aww, and then cute. these are beautiful reproductions but the, the quality of these is just fantastic mm -hmm. the way they pull them over the the alder wood um, wood frame and there's many different themes um, Christmas, there's fall, there's spring, and we're gonna carry him year round. I think he's a made in the USA featured artist that, that, that everyone should have some of this in their home. Uh, it is true, and you know, for the holidays, you can have artwork, but you can change it up because you'll be carrying it all the seasons. But to come to Terra Casa, it's right in Damascus, and really to come and experience all of these decorations to make your house so beautiful for all your friends and family, I think you do does all such a service, so thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> thank you. So go to gardentime.tv, we'll click you over to their website, and you get all that information on how to, to get out here. Thanks so much. Thank you, Judy. Thank you so much for watching Garden Time today. And as you heard from William last week, he has decided to leave the show to explore some new opportunities. We wish him well in all his endeavors. But don't worry, we'll be back next week with a new episode of Garden Time. The proceeding was a paid program of the Gustin Creative Group and its sponsors.